Hi, Suzanne. I'm Alexis Joy from Alexis Joy VIP Access. I have to say it is the most tremendous honor and a dream come true to be interviewing you both. And congratulations on bringing even more magic with the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter. Thank you, Alexis. Wow, it's our pleasure. What a great introduction. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, as I mentioned, new magic ensues in the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter. What is it like for you both being able to continue to bring Cosmo and Wanda's amazing fun to a whole new generation of audiences? It's, it's, it's a thrill. It was a shot. It just shot out of the dark and, and it was like, what? Okay, I'll do this. <laughs> um, and uh, um, I, it, it keeps me out of the stores, you know, talking like this and hoping somebody will hear me for once. I Am I whispering? <laughs> I love it. I love it. How about for yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, I would echo what Suzanne said. It was completely unexpected, just completely out of the blue. Even when we heard that Paramount Plus was going to uh, make another uh, series of Fairly Odd Parents. And we thought, well, good luck with that. No reason to expect to be involved. And, uh, and when they asked us, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's tremendous. We have had, Suzanne and I, I think in particular, have had so much fun over the years giving vocal life to these particular characters. And we have such great admiration and respect for each other. Just to have the opportunity to do it again is one thing, but to have it done so well is really great. Uh, and the scripts are great and the cast is great and the music and the dancing and the singing, which is far better than I would ever hope to accomplish. <laughs> it's great to be involved, uh, especially especially now and especially in this, you know. That is so wonderful. Well, you both are truly legendary and we all feel that Cosmo and Wanda are our own fairly odd parents. <laughs> so we love that. We love that we have our own honorary fairly god parents, which is such a treat. Now, if you could ask any wish to come true from Cosmo and Wanda, what would it be? I have an easy answer to that. I would wish for the ability to fly. It's the one consistent wish that keeps knocking in my head. I think it would just be great. And if things got oppressive or dark or whatever, I could just take off and get a different perspective. And uh, plus it would be awfully cool. You'll always have like a first class view of the world, which is <laughs> very cool. Might get cold, but yeah. Definitely. How about for you, Suzanne? Um, I think I would love to be um, plopped in a, a series like The Fairly Odd Parents as an animated character, as long I as I can leave when I it gets tough. <laughs> that is yes. super cool. None of the ravages of time actually hurt you in a cartoon. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> I know not what I speak, honestly. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, hey. That is so wonderful. Now, after being Timmy Turner's amazing fairy godparents for so many years, you have been bestowed upon Viv and Roy. So what advice do you think you can give Viv and Roy to see how they can handle having fairy godparents in the best way possible? I, I, would, I would say the best advice from, from me would be trust Wanda, do not trust the other guy with the green hair. I <laughs> don't know what he's doing most of the time. And my advice um, uh, would uh, to the new uh, godchildren would be, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. I think that's a running theme throughout a lot of the episodes, both in the previous show and now. So that's super cool. Now, The Fairly Odd Parents has some of the most iconic songs. I have shiny teeth in me, always stuck <laughs> in my head at all times, all the time. But we also have Icky Vicky and a lot of the new songs in the series now. So do you have a favorite song either from the previous show or the new show that we're awaiting? I think we both have the same favorite song. Uh, we did a musical episode on uh, The Fairly Odd Parents back in the day. And we got to sing a little duet together called Floating With You. And it's their little love story, uh, Suzanne and I. I've been a fan of Suzanne before I even met her. Uh, and we before we started working together. And when I got to sing this song with her, talk <laughs> about a, a complete 
a, couple, a, a, a moment that you you couldn't expect, you couldn't you couldn't plan for, and uh, just magic. Again, it's it's magic that I got to do that with you. And she had to put up with me singing it. <laughs> uh, That's not true. Oh my she's god. A trained, she's a trained performer. I'm just <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Oh no. <laughs> I get that. That was my favorite song. Um, I don't want to tease. There was there's a really funny song in <laughs> in this uh, fairly otter, um, but I can't really discuss it. But there, there's at least one very funny and very catchy song. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It'll be an um, earworm for me. <laughs> <laughs> So awesome. So incredible. As I told Audrey, Grace, Tyler, and Imogen, we all need to create our Fairly Odd Parents playlist so that we can jam out to all of the songs <laughs> as we wait and count down for the series. Things that I love about Cosmo and Wanda is that they can form into anything around them when they have to hide away from the kids or adults who aren't the ones that they are the Fairly Godparents for. So if you could transform into any object or item, the sky's the limit, what would it be? If I had the opportunity, I would transform myself into the refrigerator because that way I know that I've got, I've got stuff. I've got food. I've got sustenance. I just become the refrigerator and I'm okay. I love the way you think, Darren, because you could never have enough food. <laughs> what object would I turn into? Um, maybe a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> That way, um, people wouldn't be offended by me. <laughs> Suzanne, you'll really be living my shiny teeth and me. With there, you that go. there you go. I yeah. love it. Now, lastly, Cosmo and Wanda have pretty much done it all when it comes to adventures. But if you could see them go on any kind of special adventure, what would you like it to be? What kind of special adventure? Did we ever go out into space? Yes, there were brief, there were brief uh, journeys into space, oh. even in the seven minute pilot. That's, oh, that's right. right. Because we did yeah. the little spoof of, uh, I am your father. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Back when Cosmo was a used car salesman and not the screaming guy. Uh, well, maybe if so, we, maybe if we were dropped into the like Hobbit world for a, a small amount of time. <laughs> that would be great. Yes. I've always thought the time travel episodes are some of my favorite episodes, even of other TV shows. Yeah. So, and they've, they've, they've done a good job with that as well. Uh, so, but yeah, those are always just a lot of fun for me. And uh, I, I just think that's a, it's a clever ruse, a, a clever old trope to, uh, to do. That is so incredible. Well, with the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder, as I mentioned earlier, the sky is the limit when it comes to adventures and we're all just wishing for many, many more seasons and episodes. But when I was younger, I never thought I'd be in the same virtual room as Cosmo and Wanda and hearing your voice. So it is such a dream come true. Thank you so very much for chatting with me today. Thank it's you so much. Our pleasure, truly our pleasure. Thank you, Alexis Joy. Thank That's you. great fun. Congratulations again. Thank you, thank All you. All right.